So okay, it looks like I just uh, hadn't done this question out of the set, so let me do it. Uh, it's uh, one of those questions that actually pretty easy. It's just <laughs> looking at formulas and plugging in <laughs> answers. I mean, you could do it from scratch. You could uh, redrive the Bohr model results and then do it from scratch. But um, let's not go the long route. Let's just do it quickly. It says a hydrogen atom makes the transition from the ground state to an excited state of n equals 5. And this number could change depending on the version of question you have by absorbing a photon. And the question can ask, what is the energy of the photon? Because only the right amount of energy will allow you to make this transition. So what I would recommend is, oh, I guess, um, so if you're like me, you might actually have this number memorized. So this is the number that I do have memorized. That for hydrogen atom, we do you know just a single proton at the center, its energy levels are given by minus thirteen point six electron volt divided by n squared. It's just a number that I have memorized. Uh, now, if you don't have it memorized, then you can easily look it up from the textbook section that's linked. So Bohr model is discussed in chapter 6, uh, section 4. And that's what is the n value? 1, not 0, uh, for the ground state. So as you go down, uh, so in the, in, the, in the section, they go through the whole introduction, you know, uh, the the balmer Wittberg formula and um, all that, that we actually covered in one of the labs. And in the Bohr model, this is the really the starting place, quantization of angular momentum. And then when you finish the derivation, uh, this is the energy level, kinetic plus potential, this complicated expression. I don't have this memorized, although I could redrive it whenever I want. What I do have memorized is the version where the numbers have been plugged in. So this is the kind of E naught um, or the the positive version of this number with the n equals one. So um, so I have this form memorized, you know, minus thirteen point six electron volt uh, divided by n squared. So uh, so I have that. I'm just gonna use that. <laughs> so. Um, energy of the photon should be, so it's the difference between the higher state energy and the lower state energy. Let me do that calculation quickly here. Higher state energy is minus, oh, wait, I gotta do this. 13.6 minus divided by five squared. That's the higher state energy. I subtract the ground state energy, uh, which is 13.6 minus, um, and divide by one square. When I do that, I get 13.056, so 13.06, rounding. Uh, let's make sure I got the question right. Yeah, And the rest is, uh, um, so rest is uh, easy, most easily answered by recalling what we covered about the uh, photon and energy of the photon. In starting with the discussion of the Planck's um, the, the oscillators and then Einstein's explanation of photoelectric effect. We have energy of photon, uh, which we calculated here, being related to its wave properties like uh, frequency through this relationship, Planck's constant times frequency. So we can get frequency quickly. Once we have the frequency, then the uh, frequency and wavelength is related through the familiar relationship for waves that wave speed is equal to its frequency times wavelength. So solving it for wavelength, wavelength is the wave speed divided by frequency. So I think the one number I need is, I need a Planck's constant. I uh, don't think I have that memorized. Uh, I can use the value that's probably in the textbook somewhere. Uh, I feel like it'll be covered here, uh, 6.1. So. Then Planck goes through it. And let me look up the one that's uh, expressed in electron volt units because that'll make my uh, numerical exercise much simpler. Uh, I don't really want the joule version. Yeah. So I don't really want the first number. I want the second number so that when I, uh, for the frequency, when I take the energy, divide by Planck's constant, electron volt will cancel out, and I'll have one over second. So 
so energy 13.056 EV I divided by the Planck's constant uh, 4.136 times 10 to the power of minus 15 EV times second which will give me 1 over second as the final unit and it's a uh, um, 3.16 times 10 to the 15. I think a 10 to the 15 was already there, yeah. So 3.16 times 10 to the 15 hertz. Yep. And the wavelength would be, all right, I got this frequency. Uh, let me store that into memory. And I got speed of light divided by frequency for wavelength. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by uh, the memory recall. So, yeah, pretty short, 9.5 times 10 to the minus 8. Oh, I need it in nanometers. There are 10 to the 9 nanometers in 1 meter. So let me just uh, multiply this by 10 to the power of 9, or 95, 95.04, uh, 95 or 95 nanometers. Yeah, that's pretty short. I think that's in the either deep ultraviolet or I think that's a deep ultraviolet, probably not X-ray. Um, but it's well outside of the visible range, which uh, makes sense. All the transitions between the ground state of hydrogen and any of the excited state is out of the visible range. So, okay, yeah, so that's the one question I hadn't done. It's relatively simple number plugging in exercise.